six years from now, the average of Monu's age that time, which means after six years, right? Six years from now, at that point of time. So average of Monu's age and Ninu's age will be 29 years. So clearly after six years, the average is going to be 29. After six years, the average is going to be 29. Let us assume that Monu's present age is M and Ninu's present age is N. See, from the first statement, you need to understand that after six years, if the average is 29, current average will be 23. Are you getting it? After six years or six years from now, the average is 29. So obviously, the current average, which is M plus N by 2, will be equal to 23 years, 29 minus 6 years. Why? Why is it so? See, from now, if you take six years, Monu's age will increase by six years. Yes or no? From now, Monu's age will increase by six years. Nino's age will also increase by six years. So both of them have increased by six years. And then the average becomes 29. If both are reduced by six years, we will get the present value. So both are reduced by six years means what? If both the values are reduced by six years, average also gets reduced by six, right? So that is the reason I'm saying the present average will be six years less than the given average here. So 29 minus six is 23. And we can say sum. Monu's age plus Nino's age is 23 into 2, which is 46. That's the first part of it. Now look at the second part. Five years ago, if the ratio of Monu's age to Ninu's age at that time was 11 is to 7, what is Ninu's present age? So basically, we have to find out what is Ninu's present age. N. N is equal to what? But from the second statement, you can directly eliminate some of the options here. See, he says five years ago, the ratio of Monu's age and Ninu's age was 11 is to 7. That means five years ago, Ninu's age was a multiple of 7. Yes or no? Five years ago, Ninu's age should be a multiple of 7. He is asking us to find out Ninu's present age. Let us just go by option. Let us assume Ninu's present age is 17 years. If Ninu's present age is 17 years, what was the age 5 years ago? 17 minus 5, 12. Yes or no? What is given in the options is Ninu's present age. If Ninu's present age is 17 years, what was Ninu's age 5 years ago according to option 1? 12 years. Is 12 a multiple of 7? No. See, we very well know that 5 years ago, Ninu's age should be a multiple of 7. And five years ago, Monu's age was a multiple of 11. Getting it? 11 is to 7 is the ratio. So five years ago, Ninu's age was a multiple of 7. So if I subtract 5, I get 12. But 12 is not a multiple of 7. So first option is wrong. If I subtract 5 from here, 33, I get 28. Is 28 a multiple of 7? Yes. So this is a probable answer. You're getting it? If I subtract 5 years from 33, I get 28. Is 28 a multiple of 7? Yes. So this satisfies the second condition. Second option satisfies the second condition. So we'll keep it on hold. Look at third option. 27 years is the present age. 5 years ago it was 22. Is 22 a multiple of 7? No. So third option is eliminated. 19 is a present age of Ninu. 5 years ago it was 14. Is 14 a multiple of 7? Yes. So this also is possible. Look at fifth option. 22 years is the present age. 5 years ago it was 22 minus 5? 17. Is 17 a multiple of 7? No. So this option also gets eliminated. So basically, just by going, I mean just by using the options, we are left with only two options. I mean, we have been able to eliminate three options using the second statement. And the only two options left out now are 33 and 19. Are you it? The two options left now are 33 and 19. Right? 33 and 19. Now try to see. Try to see what the other condition of it. See, if we were lucky and four options could have got eliminated, only one option will be left and we can say that is the correct answer. The problem here is two of the options are satisfying both the conditions. I mean, two of the options are satisfying the Second condition, which is about Ninu's age being multiple of seven five years ago. So we have to go for one more step. Now, what is that one more step? Understand. We have already calculated the sum of their ages, 46. If Ninu's age is 33, what will be Monu's age? If Ninu's present age is 33, Ninu's present age is 33, Monu's present age will be how much? 46 minus 33, which is 13. Which is 13. Again, go back to the same condition. We know that five years ago, Monu's age should be a multiple of 11. So if we subtract 5 from 13, we get 8 years. Is 8 a multiple of 11? No. So second option also gets eliminated. And hence, fourth option is the answer.